Hey, how you guys doing? Sorry for the tardiness. I uh, apologize. Uh, I try not to make that a habit. Uh, my name is Dennis Simmons. Uh, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. I am uh, married. I have two kids. A uh, wife is named Tasha. Son is named Cannon. And daughter is named Kendall. Dennis Bryan, Young Trojansports.com. Interested in just the timeline of how this came together. Lincoln's hiring was so fast. How did you decide to be on that plane the next morning, less than 24 hours later? Uh, two folds. Uh, one, uh, the, the relationship, uh, the friendship, and the brotherhood that Lincoln and I share is, you know, one of a very strong bond. So uh, when he called, there really wasn't much more discussion that was needed. I mean, hey, this is what I'm doing, and I need you there. So. I was like, what time and, and, and where? Well, that's something that actually kind of is a, a, a never ending, always moving target. Uh, we will move guys around, uh, so you you don't have to worry about that. Uh, they'll they'll be multifaceted there uh, in in that aspect, uh, and really during practices, what it uh, it, it really involves uh, too is you know, Dave is on one side of the field, I'm on the other side of the field. Uh, we we break it up more so with how we meet. Uh, the X's and the the Z's meet with me, with and the Y's and the H's meet with him. Uh, the title, uh, I guess, it, in, a, in a lot of ways, it, it holds me just as accountable as it, it, as it holds Coach Raleigh. And, you know, if for some reason, if there's ever anything that he can't fulfill in a head coach's position, uh, you know, I look at it as it's something or if there's something that he designates to me to, uh, to, to, to be at in his, in his place, I look at it as something that I, I go and I represent the program in the same fashion that he would. Well, a lot of that uh, has to do with their their parents and the DNA. Uh, you know, as you stated, I've been fortunate and blessed enough to work with a lot of different guys. Uh, what I try to do is just, you know, in off of film study and evaluating what their strengths are, is put them in in situations and that that is able to put them at the advantage of of, of using those skill sets. Uh, so I would say that. Uh, within itself was uh, honestly the biggest difference uh, between those two guys. Now, the thing that they both shared in common is that they both were very competitive and they both came to work every day uh, with, uh, with a, a, a mindset of, of competing and making each other better. Uh, well, the thing that I loved about Terrell, and I'm a big relationship guy, so uh, part of the recruiting process was, you know, being able to, to get around them, get them on the phone and have multiple conversations to find out not just who they were as a player, but who they were as a person. Uh, the biggest thing that, you know, both Coach Riley, myself, and the rest of the offensive staff wanted to do was to bring that right type of mentality to the meeting room and to the, to the position group. Uh, is as my gentleman over here stated, you know, you've had a lot of talented guys that have played here at this university. And one of the things that I think both myself and the group as we're going forward, you know, we want to, you know, hold up our end of the, bar uh, of the bargain with that tradition that has been here. So, you know, I wanted to bring in the right type of people and, 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 and bridge this thing together so when we're out there we're putting our best foot forward and the best product on the field uh the thing that i liked about uh brandon is that you know and talking and, and doing research about him is his work ethic uh every every coach uh that that 
we encounter with uh, in, in, in his recruiting process all said the same thing. He works his butt off every day at practice. Uh, the thing with uh, with the Bynum kid, uh, his uh, coach from, from the University of Washington actually texted me uh, the day that he announced that he was coming here and was like, hey, I'm going to text you. And then he called and was like, hey, man, you're getting a great, a great person. So, you know, when you have characteristics and you have people willing to go out of their way to do things like that, then it, you, you kind of get, get the idea that, hey, you know, I'm on the right path. Uh, now, obviously, we got to put the work in and, and do some things this, this spring and this summer to make sure that we live up to everybody's expectations this fall. But, you know, when you, when you get affirmation like that, it, it gives you a pretty good idea that, you know, you're going down the right path and, you, and, you, and you're choosing the right people. Thank you. Uh, guy that you recruited out of high school, Malik Brown, played a lot of running back in modern day high school, but you guys want to use him a bit in the slot. Talk a little bit about splitting time and uh, trying to steal away from Kyle McDonald. <laughs> well, uh, at the end of the day, we want we want to be successful. So I mean, our, our, our deal is you know let's put guys on the field and then put them in spots that 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 that, that gives us the competitive advantage. So I think that'll that'll take care of the the whole aspect of with me and Coach Mack. Uh, you know the thing with Relik is is you know he's gonna have to be able to come in here and and and, and pick it up. And uh, you know he's doing some things right now to 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 aid to aid with that uh, his his athletic skill set. I mean, you guys, you're in in the sports world, so I mean, I think we all could agree that you know his skill sets. He he's able to some do to do some things on the field that is is, is truly dynamic. So uh, with the combination of putting him in space and and, and putting him in, in in situations where he could take take advantage of one on one coverage, I think you know whether it's the backfield, whether it's in the slot, whether it's on the outside. Uh, I, I think uh, nothing but good things can happen when we get the football in his hands. Well, you know, my hope is that it's more of a, a group effort. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because if you got three Jake, uh, Drake Londons out on the field uh, making plays, then just imagine how successful our offensive unit is. So uh, I would hope that, you know, that, that, that void, which is a, a, a big void, uh, I, I would hope that, you know, multiple guys, you know, take the bull by the horns, step up and, 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 wanna, and wanna embrace that role. Ah, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was shocked. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was extremely shocked. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that relationship started. I mean, uh, when, when you Lincoln and I have known each other, you know, since he was 19 years old. So I mean, we've gone through. Uh, weddings together. We've gone through the birth of, you know, various kids together. So, I mean, when you gone through transition and job locations together, uh, we were together at Texas Tech and then went to East Carolina. I mean, I think throughout that time, you know, it, it, it creates a brotherhood. It, it creates a bond, much like with our players in the locker room, going through off-season condition, going through summer workouts. I mean, you, you kind of create that, that, that friendship and that, that brotherly bond. And I mean, you know the respect that we both have for uh, each other as men, uh, and, and you know sharing the same values and views, you know is 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 only made that bond, that bond stronger. Yeah. You got to see Caleb Williams last year in practice in games. What's he like? What should USC fans know about the, the quarterback they're getting? Oh, well, first, uh, I think. From a receiver standpoint, and just from a coach being out there and able to observe him, uh, the biggest thing that I thought he brought uh, last year to the team was those guys in that huddle all want to play with him and want to play for him. And that's something that you can't really coach. I mean, you either got it or you don't have it. And, you know, those guys, you know, 
with his presence and some of the things that he did. He made practice fun, uh, not just for himself, but everybody that was out there working with him. Uh, and when you get, you know, it's, it's fun. Everybody is excited in the first day of camp, but, you know, day 15 or, you know, week seven, and you've done this for, you know, n numerous days in a row, it kind of gets a little redundant. And, you know, when you have a guy out there that has that type of energy and that type of uh, uh, passion that you're playing with, it makes the time go by uh, quicker. And it makes those practice time slots that you're out there, it makes it fun. Uh, and, you know, it, you're able to alleviate the noise, whether it's, you know, social media, the media, you know, what's going on with, you know, in their personal lives. It, 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 they're out there having fun and playing the game. So I think that was one of the biggest qualities that I saw in him uh, as a freshman. And like I said, that's something, you know, that's that's something you, in my opinion, that you're born with. Uh, and I think for guys, you know, like, Sua back there uh, that has played the game. I, mean, I think he could truly identify and relate to that. Uh, not 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 many great players are can bring that type of charisma and that type of energy every day to practice. Uh, it's kind of been like Groundhog's Day, to be honest with you. We got here, <laughs> got off a plane, got changed, came over. He did his press conference. We were learning about, you know, SC doing paperwork. Uh, got cleared. The next day, we're out on the plane, out on the road recruiting. So, you know, I got the question a million times, like, hey, man, I bet you're enjoying living in sunny California. And my response was, yeah, I'm not in California. I'm actually out on the road recruiting. So uh, it's, you know, now that signing days is, is over and we're finally able to get around our players and, and, and the team, uh, things will start to slow down. Uh, I'm excited. My family will actually be moving out here Saturday. So uh, I will get out of my, my normal routine of moving my luggage out of one hotel room to fly back here to put it back in another hotel to pack it up again to move it out to go out the next week. So that'll, that'll, that'll be nice. Well, if you won't block, you won't play. I mean, it's it's honestly just that simple. I mean, a part of uh, our standard is, you know, competing in, with each other and playing for one another. And if you're not going to be a guy that's going to play for your, your teammate when you don't have the ball, you're probably not going to be a guy that's going to have a chance to get on the field to get the ball. That's it. Thank you, Coach. We all good? Yep.